Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Wells Knight's Realm. In today's episode, we're going to be doing some more work on the tavern. Hope you're having a great day. I am having a fantastic day. It is just a couple minutes, actually, after I recorded the previous episode, which was a little bit different than what we normally do around here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't had a chance to read your comments yet, obviously, since the first episode hasn't even gone out yet. Um... For those of you who don't know, I pretty much have to record all of my videos for the week on the weekends, uh, just due to the way that my other job schedule works. So, um, but I hope you enjoyed it. It was, it was, I thought it was kind of a cool change of pace, playing around with the texture pack a little bit. Um, but what I want to do in today's episode is I would like to do some more work on the tavern. I'm not in love with the tavern as it stands right now. There's definitely some major work that we still need to do. I've been very busy. Well, at least a little busy between episodes, uh, gathering up some spruce wood so we can do some things to this lovely little tavern. And I've got a whole bunch of spruce now, so I think we'll be good. I think we'll have enough spruce to last us for, uh, for a while at least. And if not, I've got enough spruce saplings that I can easily grow a lot more spruce. Uh, let's just put this guy over here for the minute. And let's make a bunch of spruce slabs, and let's make a stack of spruce stairs as well. Because the first thing I want to sort out in here is this little stairway that leads up, and then this area right up here. This is the very first thing that I want to deal with. So, let's go ahead and put down a floor in here. Do I not have any torches? Dang it. I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got some torches now. <laughs> I can't believe I started the episode without any torches. So professional of me. That's okay. Uh, let's just put this stuff in here for the minute. And then the first thing that I think I want to do is light up that area in there for very obvious reasons. Um, I think we're also going to need some oak wood. Just a little bit of it. Let's see you. There we go. And... It's going to be a little funky um, doing some of this kind of stuff. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll bring these pillars. This staircase is going to have to move because of that, but that's okay. Uh, I'm thinking we'll put some logs in the floor right here like that. And then here as well. There we go. Okay, so that just it just helps out a little bit as far as making the ceiling a little bit better. Um, this, though, we're going to have to move. And we've got a couple challenges that um, kind of make this little uh, a little bit interesting. And that is, first and foremost, the windows. We don't want to block the windows, right? But at the same time, we also want to be able to get up here. So if I start my stairs right here, and then the next one here, oh, I, I can get under there. And the window's right here. Okay. This, this could work. Potentially. Maybe. Possibly. Put, no, that, well, whatever. That wasn't the right spot, but it'll work. It's fine. We'll do that. We'll put that there. And then this will just kind of reach up to here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will do. Okay. Now, I'm still not a fan of the way that this looks. <laughs> I don't like these kind of floating stairs. But it might have to do. And with having these chests and this crafting bench under here, it doesn't look terrible. Uh, it's not completely terrible. It, like, we could, we could deal with this. Um... I may want to swap this guy out for a stair like that, though. Possibly. I don't know if I like that more or less. I think I like that less. Let's go back to the slab. Nope. Well. Oh, actually, that might work. Hmm. Maybe. Or do I like it better like that? I think I like it better like that. Anyway. So then we've got this area up here, which is great. We'll do stuff with this space. We'll put some windows in here or something. Like 
Uh, we can put them in all of those, and we'll make them two high windows all around. I think that makes the most sense. Let's see. And we're using just glass, right? Yes. Okay. So I need six glass panes. There we go. We'll grab those. And we can go ahead and put those in. That'll help break up this wall a little bit, at least. But then we still got to figure out something to do on the outside to add some extra detail to this, because these walls on these sides here are still really bland and boring. Like, this? This is very bland. We need something in this space right here to kind of create interest, if you will. So, that's the next thing that I want to work on. And I'm kind of thinking we could maybe do... Maybe, like, flower boxes. Those would be an option. Put them, like, right here. That would be one potential solution. Uh, we also have a few other things we could do as well. Let's grab our bed out of this covered wagon. Let's actually put it in the inn. Uh, because one thing about the covered wagon is that it's not exactly completely mob safe. It's very possible to get killed by a mob while you're sleeping in that bed. So let's just put the bed here, and we'll just sleep right here for the... just for the minute. Okay. And... there we go. All right. Now, we've got these other rooms. We've got a room here, we've got a room here, and we have a room here. And there's some things we could do with this, potentially. Uh, we could put some stairs in like this to kind of change the shape of the room a little bit, which I kind of like, and up there... I think that would be perfectly fine to do that. So let's grab some of this kind of stuff here. And we're just going to kind of up at this level, change the shape of the ceiling a little bit. I don't know that I'm going to do it right here yet. Um, we might change that a bit. But for now, let's just get this in. And do the same over here. And this just creates a more interesting shape uh, in the look of the room. It gives us this kind of rounded shape like that, which I like, which I do like. Uh, now here, there are other things we could do. Um, I would be tempted to do something like this. For these rooms on the side. And then up here, we would essentially go like that. So this would be kind of the shape of our little bedrooms. And we still have room for some chests and, uh, you know, like a little bedside table. But these are basically going to be rooms at the inn. They're not going to be anything amazingly fancy uh, or anything like that. They're just basically a place that you would rent out for the night to lay down your head, to lay your head after a long day. So I think we'll go with this. Oh, I have a whole stack of slabs that I didn't even see. Go, go self. Good job. Yeah, okay. So let's do that, and let's do the same right up there. There we go. So that gives us this kind of rounded shape. And we can probably bring this around as well, right? Yeah, that doesn't look bad. That actually looks pretty good, all in all. Um, and then we'd have, like, a little railing, probably right here. Of some sort. Probably... Probably dark oak, I'm thinking. For the railing. Like that. Just because it... It... Contrasts best with this. The other option would be, like, regular oak, maybe? Let's give that a try. See what we think. It would be the only place up here, though, that we're using regular oak, so... I don't know that that would necessarily be a good thing. I mean, obviously we got the oak log, but... Um... You can definitely see the railing a little bit more if you come up here. Yeah, maybe we'll stick with the regular oak. That's not a bad look, because it... I think I think being able to see it here is definitely a good thing. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, and then we'll have our rooms, and our rooms are going to go right 
here. So we can go ahead and fill little chunks of this in. That one and that one. There we go. So this will be a room. And do we want to leave that like so, or do we want to turn those stairs? I'm thinking we turn those stairs like that. Yeah, 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 for sure. That looks better. Okay, so there's one room. Then our other room... Oh, this one's not going to be able to be turned, though, is it? Ah, that's okay. It's fine. Uh, and we're putting it... You'll, you'll notice, if you look closely, we are putting it right on top of this log. And that covers up the log, which is good, because the log doesn't look amazing as a floor piece just randomly sitting there, at least in my opinion. So we'll go here... Like that. And that gives us our other room. And then maybe here, instead of a staircase, we'll put uh, maybe some, maybe like a dark oak fence like this. Or something, something along those lines. Or we could put just a torch here. Like that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, if we're going to do that, though, I think we'd be much better off using a different color. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that'll work. Okay, so then we've got a room here. Just a little itty-bitty one. And since it's a little itty-bitty room, we'll put the bed there. Right? And then over here, we'll probably put, like, a chest and a dresser or something like that. And then this will be a much bigger room uh, with a few more amenities and things like that. So I think that'll be good. Okay, now, next thing. Next thing would be the downstairs. And this is where we're going to have, like, the tavern and the public seating area and a lot of that kind of stuff. So... First thing we need to figure out is what we're going to do for a table design. And I'm thinking we're going to do most of the furniture in here in dark oak, just because it gives a really nice contrast. Um, so this is a relatively large area right here. Maybe what we'll do is here, we'll make this like a big table. and would help if I place these in the right spot. We'll maybe put some chairs like that. Actually, I think that would be better if these chairs were like this. So this is kind of a larger table for people to sit at. And on top of that, um, how would pressure plates look? If we just put wooden pressure plates on top, that's not bad. It's actually not too bad. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then uh, we need like a little bar area. And I'm thinking we'll make that right about here. So this will be like the area where people come to actually get their drinks which I think is good. And then we just need some other tables kind of strewn about, <laughs> if you will. Uh, maybe not right there. Maybe like here. So we'll put maybe a table right here up against the wall. Maybe a table here. We can have a little table for four right here. Um, I think this might be better if we moved it to, like, right here. Because we want to give this really kind of packed and crowded feel. For obvious reasons. I mean, obviously it's a business, so they want to pack in as much seating as they can. Uh, not right there, though. That won't work. Maybe here? Will that block everything? That will block everything. Although that's not necessarily a bad thing. If 
we do something like that. I mean, that's definitely a crowded bar area. I think what we'll do instead is we'll push this back. Let's push this back a block. So we had here, here, and here. And that way there's still the one... Like the one uh, block of separation all around the table. So this would maybe be like a VIP table. This is where the important people come to have their drinks and things like that. And then this guy will maybe put... I don't like it right in the middle of the floor like that. I think that's a bit much. But we could maybe put right here like that. little table for three. Yeah, that is a good feel. That is a good flow. You know, you walk in the door. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. I like it. Okay. So then we need some shelves up here, I think, for the bartender to get his drinks from. You know, the spirits, the things that he's going to serve to the customers. Um, we'll probably want a little crafting table, maybe in the corner there. And maybe we take a trap door and put that right here. And that's how he gets in and out of the bar area. That makes sense to me. Okay, so that's good. Then we need decorations for the walls up here. This could get a little trickier. Hmm, what could we do up here to make this better looking? Because right now this is very bland, very dull. I mean, there's always paintings, but I don't think paintings really fit in a medieval tavern so much. They just would seem kind of out of place to me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe we're fine the way it is, honestly. I'd like to get some, uh, some, you know, potions and things over here eventually. Uh, oh, and actually out here, we can make a couple more tables. So like here, we'd have a little table, and then here, we'd have a little table as well. You know, just, um... Or maybe this one we'd push up against the wall, like so. That looks good. Let's go sleep really quick. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. Bad things are happening. Sleep! Come on now. There we go. Okay. Had to eat the food. Okay, so we've got that done. And we need doors in here as well. We're just going to put a torch right there. Uh, or actually, I mean, ultimately, I, I need to light up this whole thing. So maybe we'll go, ooh, I'm almost out of, I'm almost out of those. Um, Spruce, come to me. Let's make a couple of oak. Oh, that was so not what I wanted to make. Oh, dang it. I hate it when I do that. Let's try again. Oh, and I don't even have sticks. I am such a professional Minecrafter. It's, it's incredible how amazingly professional I am sometimes. I'll tell you. Okay, uh, so I'm thinking we put another torch here for lighting. And we'll just put that guy right there. So this is the light for this room. And then in here, this is a much bigger room. So maybe he gets two torches to light that up. And then maybe two torches here as well. One there and one there. You know, this is a this is a much fancier room for sure. And then I think maybe we'll put like a little storage type deal over here. Like, or actually, let's put it right here instead. Because that'll flip up there. And then this will flip up here. And then we can put maybe... You know, like this is a this is a storage chest or something, or a desk, I don't know. Something along those lines. 
And, you know, I remember seeing this. It's something like, I gotta remember. It's been a while since I've seen this, but I seem to remember there was a moose head I saw on, like, Detail Craft or something like that. I think it was the, the Detail Craft subreddit. Yeah, it was something like this. Um, let me grab a spruce stair. Or actually, oh, we can totally do that downstairs. We'll do that downstairs on the wall. That'll totally work. Okay. Um, and maybe, maybe we'll just put the torches. I think two, the, I think these kind of tiki torches are a bit big. Maybe we'll go with the, uh, the item frame torches instead. We'll need to make some item frames, but that's fine. We have a cow farm down. Uh, right outside, so that wouldn't be a big deal. But maybe, like, over here on this wall, we put that. And we put some antlers on it. And then we've got, we got a moose head on the wall. I think that's a really cool little detail. I wish I remembered uh, who it, the name of the person who I saw, but it was definitely in the Detail Craft subreddit. Uh, and I thought it was, that's a really cool detail that I've been meaning to use forever and just never really did. Um, let's go ahead and put pressure plates on top of all of these tables. And that way the tables will all be uniform. There we go. That looks good. Huh, I love the moose head. That's amazing. Okay. Um, and then up here... We should probably get some chests. We should probably put a couple chests in each room, uh, or at least a chest in each room. So let's make three chests. We'll put one in the smaller room, like right here or something, or maybe right here. And then this can be uh, like a little nightstand or something, or a, a bedside table, maybe? Maybe dark oak. Hmm. I don't think I like that very much. Maybe I'll just put the chest in here. I mean, there's so little space in this room that it wouldn't really be a big deal. But then in here, we're going to have the bed go right here. Maybe over here we'll put a double chest up against that wall. And I'd like to get actually a couple bookshelves in here and like a proper desk desk. Um, but we need beds and stuff like that anyway, so that should be fine. I do need to make a couple of spruce doors so that we can put those in here. Oh, and I kind of like the fact that just under the doorway you can see the beam. That's kind of cool. So we've got our little things over here, and if we put one torch right there, that should light up this whole area safely. Maybe we'll put another one here, just so it doesn't look so out of place. That's not bad, though. We just need a bed and some decoration stuff for inside there, which is pretty doable. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what we think. How's this feel? It's still very plain on the outside. We still need to do some stuff on the outside. But when you come inside, this feels good to me. This has a nice flow. This feels good. It's got kind of interesting things throughout the whole thing. And then you come up. You've got your little bedroom here and another bedroom here to rent out. Yeah, I think that's good. I think I'm good with that. I think we do need to make a furnace and put a furnace somewhere in here, though. So let's just, uh, where is my stone? All my stone's actually in here, isn't it? I just walked right past it without even thinking about it. Cobble. Cobblestone walls. We'll grab those, because I'm going to do a little thing with that. And let's grab three, maybe? Three furnaces, perhaps? And we'll maybe put one... Hmm. How do we want to do this? Because what I'd like to do is the thing where you kind of put a furnace, uh, this isn't really a good spot for it, but just kind of as an example, and you can put the chimney kind of going up like that, and then it looks a little bit better, 
but I don't know that there's really room for it here. So maybe we'll just put a regular furnace there and then just put our shelves back. So this is like the little bartender's area. He's got a little mix, uh, a little kitchen area. He's got, you know, stuff up here. I think that works. I think all in all, I'm pretty happy with this place. And I also think that I am very much out of time for this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.